So you go to your doctor complaining about your constant headaches, shortness of breath, and anxiety. You're diagnosed with hypertension or high blood pressure. You think to yourself, it's not too bad, could have been worse. But what you're not aware of is that this increase in blood pressure can lead to processes in the body which cause strokes, heart failure, and heart disease, which all lead to death. The next thing that comes to mind is, well, are there treatments to lower my blood pressure? And the answer is yes. But unfortunately, these treatments are ineffective for about 30% of people with high blood pressure. And the reasons behind this are not fully understood, which is quite alarming. It's quite alarming because high blood pressure is responsible for more deaths and disease globally than any other risk factor. What's even more alarming is people with high blood pressure are more, have a higher risk of developing cardiovascular or heart disease. And thus, my PhD is looking at the effect of high blood pressure in the role of in the onset of cardiovascular disease. Now think of a healthy heart as a fresh Granny Smith apple. When you preserve it in something like a fridge, its lifespan is extended and it stays fresh for longer. This is what happens in a person's heart with normal blood pressure. Now imagine if you leave this apple out on a windowsill subject to the glaring sun. The apple becomes a lot more decomposed and rots a lot faster. And this is what happens in a person with high blood pressure. Their heart tissue degrades and becomes a lot more stiff and the heart is, un is un un unable to be as it should. This process is called cardiac fibrosis and it's a major cause of heart failure. So my, my PhD focuses on how this increase in blood pressure leads to these changes in the heart. Now much like an apple senses changes to cause its degradation, we think that the heart is able to sense changes um, in, in, in blood pressure. So we found for the first time that cells, specific cells in the heart known as endothelial cells, which express on their surface little caves known as cavioli, are able to sense changes in blood pressure. Indeed, when, without cavioli, we found that there was no increase in hypertension-induced cardiac fibrosis. And this is crucial because by furthering our understanding that the role of high blood pressure plays in cardiovascular disease, it will lead to more targeted therapeutics that will not only treat heart disease, but more importantly, prevent them. Thank you.